They're not going to come in. They're saying it's a state law that they can't come in. The police officer had to push the bed, which has no wheels, down the corridor while nurses continued performing CPR. Someone get up there to help her steer it, and I, I can push it. Only when the man was brought outside did the fire department paramedic start treatment. The police officer's report on the incident says nurses were distraught and pleading for help. Fire personnel insisted on the patient being brought to them outside before they began life-saving efforts and made no effort to assist me, he wrote. The patient didn't make it, and the city's deputy mayor is shocked. I frankly was appalled. It's just horrific to think that your last moments, the help you needed, might not be there. Our officer, frankly, deserves a medal for going in and getting the patient out. Both paramedics are now on leave while the incident is being investigated. California's Emergency Medical Services Authority getting a statement reading that, quote, upon acceptance of a call assignment, California paramedics cannot refuse service, i.e. assessment, treatment, transport, unless directed by law enforcement or if the scene is unsafe. But we were also directed to this memo from the San Bernardino County Fire Chiefs Association. It outlines best practices for long-term care facilities like the post-acute care center, including that dispatch centers request facilities to move patients to the door or outside. Still, the memo is dated April of 2020, over a year ago, and we asked if the city had any similar guidance. To my understanding, there may have been something in the very beginning but currently there is not.